Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week, well, these past few weeks have been a little bit rough on me. So here I am trying to get back into art after not being able to draw for a few days. So in order to get over my art block, I just decided to focus on my favorite part of the art process, which is just coloring. So this is a quick mock-up I decided to do digitally to just prepare myself for the traditional um, hand coloring portion. So my reference is on my desk and now we're ready to start coloring. Fingers crossed. So I am starting off on her skin and I'm just starting out on the lightest part of the artwork where the sun is just hitting her big old forehead and just trying to copy the look from the reference I created. I really don't know why I keep making Lila's forehead this big. I think it's because her hair is kind of like pushed behind her ears. And so I'm like, oh, she needs a big forehead. She doesn't. <laughs> but honestly, that could low-key be a part of her character, okay? My girl is a five head and she's proud of it just like I'm a five head and I'm working on um, being proud of my big forehead. One day I will embrace my big forehead, but for now I will just continue to make Lila's forehead as big as I can make it. Anyways, going back to the topic of art block. So yes, I have been feeling extremely uninspired to draw things lately and I don't know where it's coming from. It could be that I'm extremely busy with my personal life but I don't think that's it because I am setting time in my day to actually sit and draw even if it's something super fast like 30 minutes or a 15 minute drawing the drawings just end up looking so ugly and I'm like why is drawing so hard right now I don't get it I don't get it and you guys even my coloring isn't coming out right as you can see the reference photo I was referencing from doesn't look like what I'm actually doing so yeah, even coloring is being super annoying right now, but I actually did push myself to complete this because of you guys, I knew I had to get a video out there. At this stage, I would have just dropped the drawing if I wasn't filming, but I was like, I need, I need something out there. So you guys are kind of like my accountability partners. And I'm so happy that I actually continued with the drawing, even though the colors I was picking weren't exactly what I planned. The drawing still ended up looking really good and I even attempted to draw at the end. Uh, you guys will see how that turned out. So when I noticed the colors weren't really matching very correctly, I just decided to experiment with this piece. So here I am using this very dark blue color to shade her. This is definitely not something I would have done if I wasn't feeling risque. So, and it actually turned out pretty well. It definitely helped with contrast between her hair and her skin tone, because currently, as you guys can see, the skin and the hair is low-key blending together quite seamlessly, <laughs> unfortunately. So yeah, low-key, this piece was fighting me, but I was fighting it back too. And I don't know, I think I won this round. Period. <laughs> so this line art is from my coloring book that I'm currently working on. So this is an older piece from a while back. I really didn't want to show you guys these artwork because I kind of want the coloring book to have brand new art that you guys haven't seen for me. But I guess this is a sneak peek as to what you guys should expect in the coloring book. It's not just going to be my characters. I will have other random characters, but I am going for a cottagecore fantasy themed coloring book. So we'll have mermaids, fairies, and some other magical creatures. And it will fall within the cottagecore themed type of aesthetic. So yeah, cute cottagecore outfits and some cottagecore backgrounds. I am attempting to do some backgrounds. They will not be perfect, but I'm gonna try. But yeah, some of the drawings will have blank backgrounds like this in case anybody wants to add their own backgrounds in there, they can or just focus on coloring um, the characters themselves and not have to worry too much about um, a detailed background. So I'm super excited for you guys to see that. And yeah, it's something you guys can use as well as a tool if you're struggling with creating the art yourselves. Maybe you love the coloring process and you can use that coloring 
book to you know break the cycle break the art block it's honestly something i know i will be using i'm already using my own line art from the days that i felt super creative so i will definitely make it like a, a themed a recurring theme on the channel where we just go through the sketchbook or the coloring book and color a few pages and do different art challenges so back to the artwork instead of using my multi-liner since the artwork is pretty enlarged i just decided to use the uhuhu markers and the fine tip brush marker and just use that to outline the drawing and it just gave this soft painterly type of style and for like the sharper areas like her eyes and some parts of the shadow areas i do end up going in with the arteza fine liner pens just to sharpen those other areas and left the rest of the drawing pretty nice and soft and painterly looking So now we're adding in those final little details like the white highlights just to make our white areas super white. I normally don't do the highlights on the cheeks. Sometimes I feel like it just looks a little bit too much but I don't know how I feel about the little white details on the cheeks. What do you guys think? Should I like deem it down and take like a, a lighter marker and just dab it on there make it a lot softer or leave it bright and bold like this? Alrighty so here is the final colored piece. She definitely does not look like my girl Lila. These are not her colors. <laughs> Maybe we can call her Azula instead of Lila. Because <laughs> she looks more blue than purple. Anyway, so since I was pretty happy with how the coloring turned out, I decided to attempt to draw something. And as you can already see, I am being super sketchy in the drawing. I was honestly not super happy with it. But I decided to just push myself and continue sketching even though I was making so many mistakes. And I was just told myself, hey, this is low pressure. Like this is literally the swatch sheet that you were just swatching on. You're gonna throw it away. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just draw something. Even if you're just going to throw it away, like this is a swatch sheet. Just sketch something. If it doesn't look cute, put it in the trash. <laughs> I even messed up on her hand there. It literally looks like she was going to have six fingers. But that did not stop me. I just decided to cover it up with her outfit color and it worked out <laughs> somewhat. And this blue color is such a blotchy color. Like I should have gone a bit slower but I don't even know if that would have helped. Definitely going over it multiple times would have definitely helped it not look so patchy. But yeah. Even the coloring on this drawing just looks a little bit wonky. <laughs> the blush was not blushing, her outfit was super patchy, but I still kept it pushing. And at the end, it does look somewhat okay. It's not my best piece, but it's a completed piece and that's all that matters. So my next method of overcoming my art block is to definitely do a whole bunch of art studies because I know for me, when I do studies, it definitely like kicks me out of my art block. So hopefully, maybe I will create a few videos of me just doing some random art studies, whether it's anatomy or just learning how to draw the human head better. I will keep you guys updated. And if you're going through art block right now as well, I am so sorry. We are in this together. Hopefully this video gives you some type of an idea or inspires you to pick up your pencil and draw something. Or even go online and find some coloring pages and just color just to get yourself um, doing something art related. Go outside. The weather's getting warmer now. At least where I'm at. Get some fresh air and just color a line art just doodle even if it doesn't turn out right and definitely share some tips on how you overcome your art block or how you think somebody could overcome their art block with us in the comments i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in the comments thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you all in the next one bye guys thanks for watching